Yes. But he's already been made Lord of Lords Amen. and the King of Kings. Amen. 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 When you come back to set up the kingdom on the earth. Uh -huh. uh, right now, the Bible said that uh, through grace and the gift of righteousness, you can reign in life. Amen. Right? So we need to take that, that false old Timothy. Fight the good fight of faith and lay hold on eternal life. Amen. Ain't nothing too hard for the Lord. But God said he would do. When he spoke, you make good. They so said he cried unto the Lord. And he heard his cry. And he sent his word and did what? Heal them. them and delivered them from all their destruction. Amen. 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 And God sent his word and healed you. And delivered Amen. you and everyone at the sound of my voice from all your destructions. For the battle of the Lord's. Amen. Amen. And may the Holy Ghost lift up a standard against every spirit of infirmity. Amen. Every spirit of disease. Amen. Amen. Every diabolical demonic king behind that uh, germ, germ that's fighting you. Amen. Amen. You can see the rebuke, the Father can see the Holy Ghost rebuke, and it is banished. Amen. David said, God is a, our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Amen. Amen. And when the writer said, Therefore, will not be feared, so the earth be removed. And though the mountain be carried into the midst of the sea. Amen. Hello. Amen. Though the water there are roaring be troubled. Though the mountain shake with the swelling there of Selah. There the river, the stream whereof shall make glad the city of God. The holy place for the tabernacle of the, most, of the most high. God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. God shall help her. And what? That right early. Amen. Amen. God is a very present help. Amen. Amen. Apostle Paul said in him, we live, we move, and we have our being. Amen. David said in the 139th Psalm, he is going to pass our path and our line down and be set up behind and then before. Amen. Amen. God Amen. is all around and he's all in us. Thank God for the Lord, the Spirit of life and Christ that made us free. Somebody Already free. Amen. That made us free from the law, sin, and death. Amen. 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 The spirit of him that raised Jesus from the dead be in you. He who raised Christ from the dead shall also make your body alive Amen. by his spirit that dwelleth in you. Amen. Amen. God has delivered you from the power of darkness Amen. and translated you into the kingdom of his dear son. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Lord. Jesus said, He that eat of this bread shall never hunger again. But he said, I'm the true bread that came down from heaven. He said, I'm the bread of life. Amen. Amen. Sickness and disease have no power in the life force of Christ. Hallelujah. So you want to get under that anointing, stay in the spirit, and let the Holy Ghost protect you, keep you, Thank drive you. sickness and disease from your life. Amen. 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 But the Lord said, and you shall serve the Lord your God. Mm -hmm. He will bless your bread and water. What would he do? Take sickness Amen. away from the midst of you. Amen. 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 And may that go out for me on the spirit of rebuke to drive that spirit of infirmity. Amen. The spirit of sickness. Lord. Amen. Everybody, at the sound of my voice, in the name of Jesus of Nazareth, be free. Amen. We bind that unclean spirit. Thank you. We rebuke Amen. that hand, that fawn, that satire, that goat spirit. We drive it from you. Thank the blood you. of Yeshua, Jesus of Nazareth. Drives it from you. Thank you, Lord. By his stripes. Hallelujah. You Thank were you. and you are here. Amen. You were. You are. Therefore, you are. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you Lord. Thank I want to go back to the book of Joel. Amen. And I'm, I'm going to take a, this lesson in a different Wait. I haven't addressed it, I don't think, here, but the Lord and I have been talking it back and forth. And I've been listening, 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 trying to receive complete revelation so that when I speak on it, 
the seed will come alive in you. Amen. Amen. Because what we need now, and I understand what people are, but what we need now is people to take hold of the power of God and manifest what God said. When most people got it in their heart, they still waiting on God. I think the Lord said on the cross, it is finished. Mm. Amen. And I think after he, he arose from the grave, he was seen for many days, but then after that, he went back to heaven. And I heard the words that he said down. Mm. You don't sit down until your work is finished. And sent back the Holy Spirit to empower us and enable us. Amen. Mm -hmm. Y'all good morning. Y'all won't turn after me. Get back to me. If you're not, I'll endure. Y'all go. You can go. You just come in. You won't open me. You stay cold. Let us know. We'll turn back up. Might need to get you close to the bed. Second chapter of Joel, and I'm going to start at the 12th verse. Therefore also now, saith the Lord, turn ye even to me with all your heart, and with fasting, and with weeping, and with moaning, and rend your heart, and not your garments. And I like to say, rend your heart, and not just your flesh. People get very remorseful physically, and apparently by their outward expression. But on the inside in their heart, they're not really broken. But God dwelleth them that are a broken heart and a contrite spirit. He will not despise. So a lot of people have come to God, but they've not really been broken coming to God. They've come almost demanding a question and why. But I've, we talked here for so long. Uh, it wasn't God that walked away from man. Amen. It was man that walked away from God. We didn't find him. Jesus said he came to seek and save that which was lost. Amen. We had gone astray. Amen. It wasn't God that needed a savior. Amen. It was mankind that needed a savior. Amen. Amen. It wasn't God that broke his word. It was man that broke his word. He hardened to the voice of the woman. All right. And this new woke day, that statement might be taken the wrong way. <laughs> But so be it. God said, because you have hearkened to the voice of the woman, mm -hmm. the ground is cursed for your sake. Yes, it is. I'm real. So I'm going to leave that until you go find a big city. So he went on to say, and wring your heart and not your garment, the turn unto the Lord your God. He is gracious. God is gracious, saints, and merciful. Slow to anger and of great what kindness and repent of him of evil. Who know if he will return and repent and leave a blessing behind him, mm -hmm. even a meat offering and a drink offering under the Lord your <laughs> God? Most people talk about the love side of God, but they don't talk about the just side of God. Mm -hmm. They're the justice side of God. Mm -hmm. Do you understand that? And even though he loves us, he cannot allow rebels mm. to enter into his kingdom. Amen. Are you listening? Mm -hmm. So the only way that we can get to heaven, Jesus said, except you become another little child. Mm -hmm. Right? To the world's people in this generation. Mm -hmm. But they haven't been taught to believe in themselves. Mm -hmm. They haven't taught to actually carry out the very thing that Paul warned be a sign of the last days. Yeah. To love themselves. Mm -hmm. He said that one of the signs of the last days will be love of their own selves. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. hmm. But we supposed to love the Lord our God with all our heart, with all our soul, with all our mind, with all our strength. And then he said the second one like unto that is to love our neighbor and we love ourselves. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. And until we're able to keep that 
that commandment to love God with all our heart, soul, mind, and strength, we can't do the second one. Mm -hmm. So he said, blow a trumpet in Zion, of call, sanctify a fast, call a solemn assembly, gather the people, sanctify the congregation, assemble the elders, gather the children, and those that suck the breasts, that the bridegroom go forth in his chamber, and the bride out of the closet, that the priests, the ministers of the Lord, weep between the porch and the altar. Mm -hmm. Let them say, Spare thy people, O Lord, and give not thine inheritance to reproach, that the heathen should rule over them. Wherefore should they say among the people, Where is their God? Then he said, The Lord will be jealous for his land and pity his people. Mm -hmm. Yea, the Lord will announce and say unto the people, Behold, I will send you corn and wine and oil. The corn is representative of bread which is representative of the word of God. Mm -hmm. Wine is representative of joy. Hello, somebody. Mm -hmm. Which is representative of the joy of the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. All is representative of the anointing, mm -hmm. but it's the manifest presence of the Spirit of God in your life. So God said, if we do that, he will send to us the corn, the wine, and the oil. Mm -hmm. Then he said, you shall be satisfied therewith, and I will no more make your reproach among the heathen. I'm going to move forward in a few minutes, but I want to throw this at you. Why are the church being ridiculed, the body of Christ, believers being ridiculed by the world? How do they get away with it? How is it that it seems like the church is so weak that the wicked are ruling over them? When God gave us the authority, to cast out demons, to heal the sick, to cleanse the leper, and even to raise the dead. The keys of the kingdom of heaven, the loose and the bind. That whatever we allow on earth will be allowed in heaven, whatever we loose on earth, I mean, forbid it on earth will be forbidden from heaven. Mm -hmm. What has happened? The Apostle Paul said in Romans 12 and 2, do not be conformed to the word. Amen. First Epistle of John, the second chapter, said that the love of the world be in you. The love of the Father, I think that that 17th verse on one, that 16th verse on one. The love of the Father not in you. Yeah. When we allow ourselves to become attached, attracted to the world, the wickedness, the iniquity, the perversion, the deception, the lies, the greed, the covetousness, hello, yeah. the lust, mm -hmm. then we lose our soul. Mm -hmm. And we are separated from the presence of the Most High God. When Israel sinned against God, and I thought we probably, well, I think we might have crossed that a little bit, when Joshua and the elders died, those that had seen the handiwork of God died off, and those that remained and had not seen the handiwork of God, they turned to idolatry and practicing the ways of the people of the land. What has happened in the church world? It's not the same thing. Dress like, talk like, walk like, and bring the same stuff up in the church. <laughs> do it in the church, they do in the world. Mm -hmm. Hello? Yeah. The, 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 the worship house, the meeting house was not for, God said it should be called a house of prayer. Mm -hmm. It's a place where we come to hear and learn from God and see God's faith and go out and do the work of God. Mm -hmm. But most people can't do the work of God when they come to the house of God, they're doing the same thing people do in the world. Mm -hmm. Not getting anybody home. But they want to dance, they want to shout, they want to scream, they want to move. And then nothing wrong with that when it's the move of God and when you're pure in heart. But Jesus said in St. John, the fourth chapter, one fourth verse, God is a spirit. And he seeketh those that worship him to worship him in spirit and in truth. But you got a lot of people that are going through the motions, but they're drawing out of God with their mouth and their physical gyration, but their heart is not in it. How do you know? Because they're not being transformed. Amen. The presence of God is the person of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We're going to get into that in a few minutes. So let's read on. I'm trying to get down here. But he said, I removed far off from your you the northern army. And we know that's 38 chapter Ezekiel. And would drive him into a land barren and desolate with his face toward the east sea and his hind apart toward the utmost sea. And his stink shall come up and his ill savor shall come up because he has done great things. Fear not, O man, be glad and rejoice, for the Lord will do great things. Be not afraid, ye beasts of the field, for the pastures of the wilderness do spring, 
but a tree bear her fruit. The fig tree and the vine do yield their strength. Be glad then, you children of vine, and rejoice in the Lord your God. He has given you the former rain moderately, but and he will come to he will call to come down to you the rain, the former rain, and the latter rain in the first month. Somebody say amen. amen. And the floor shall be full of wheat, and the vat shall overflow with wine and oil. And I will restore to you the years that the locusts have eaten, the canker worm, the caterpillar, the palm worm, my great honor, which I've sent among you. And listen, he said you shall eat in plenty and be satisfied. And pray the name of the Lord your God that has dealt wondrously with you. And my people shall never be ashamed. ashamed. Mm -hmm. And you shall know that I'm in the midst of Israel, and that I'm the Lord your God, and none else, and my people, but never. shall never be ashamed. Now watch this. And it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit on all flesh, mm -hmm. and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams, your young men shall see visions. And also upon the servant and upon the handmaid, those days will I pour out my spirit. I will show wonders in the heavens and in the earth, blood and fire and pillars of smoke. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to stop right there because I don't want to get too far with you. I want to go with this. The 25th verse said, And I will restore the years that the locusts, the canker one, the palm one, the calico, my great army have eaten up. And God said, then, and then the next, next and you shall eat and blame. Mm -hmm. Jesus said, man does not live by bread alone. Mm -hmm. But by every word that the seed of the mouth of God. Right? Amen. Every word mm -hmm. that the seed of the the mouth of God. Yeah. God. So the speaker, the speaker that spoke to me, messengers of God are supposed to be speaking what God say. Mm -hmm. Not how they feel. Mm -hmm. What they think about it. Oh, God. What did God say? Amen. 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 Mm -hmm. He talked about restoring the wine, the corn, and the oil. The corn, the wine, and the oil. Right? Mm -hmm. Didn't it? Amen. Now I told you the corn represents bread, which represents the bread that came down from the true living bread, the word of God. Mm -hmm. The oil, I mean the wine represents the Lord the Spirit. Yeah. Hello? And all represent the anointed of the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. God wants to restore it. Amen. Now I'm going. It will seem like I'm getting off, but I'm not off. Just listen. Hear me out. Genesis one and twenty six. Everyone. And God said, "Let us make man." In our image, mm -hmm. after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, right? Mm -hmm. And over the fowl of the air, over the beasts of the field, and every creeping and crawling there, and then crawls on the earth. So God gave man dominion. Didn't he do it? Didn't he do it? Didn't he do it? Amen. 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 God gave man what? Mm -hmm. Dominion over the earth. Mm -hmm. To rule over it. So he, then they don't, he told them uh, to do it and have dominion. The Kedash Radah. Thank you, Lord. Amen. But something had happened to man because when God created man in his image after his likeness, tell me to the first chapter of Ezekiel. Actually, the, uh, the scripture teaches us that he said, Let us make man in our image and out of our likeness. I want to share tonight <clears throat> God wants to restore you to the original pattern and template are you here? Mm -hmm. and someone may say well pastor what is the original pattern and God said let us make man in our image and after our likeness. So what is the original pattern and template? God. 
Twenty one verse, first chapter of Ezekiel. You there yet? And there was a voice from the front of it that was over their heads when they stood and had let down their wings. And above the front of it that was over their head was the likeness of a throne, and the appearance of a sapphire throne. And upon the likeness of the throne was the likeness and the appearance of a man above a body. So what, what, what they saw, what the image they saw sitting on that throne? It looked like a man. So this throne was in heaven, and we know who's sitting on the throne. Amen. Right? Mm -hmm. God. Mm -hmm. So they say they saw what they say he saw. Mm -hmm. From the likeness of the throne, for the likeness at the appearance of a man above the pudding. Mm -hmm. And I saw at the color of amber, at the appearance of fire, round about within it, from the appearance of his lawns, mm -hmm. even upward. From the appearance of his lawns, even downward, I saw as it were the appearance of fire and that brightness round about. The Bible said that God is a consuming fire. The man of God here said he saw it. He saw a man sitting on that throne, the image of a man, the likeness of a man. Amen. And that person had fire from their lawns down, their lawns up. Amen. He saw the likeness of God. Thank you, Lord. When God said, let us make man in our image after our likeness, most people say, well, when God created Adam, because we God, he was naked. Adam was not naked. Lord. Adam had spiritual clothes. Thank you. Adam was actually covered with a light <clears throat> from his lawn down and from his lawns up. Mm -hmm. That's why he couldn't see his nakedness. Amen. God created man in his image yeah. and out of his likeness, the original template mm -hmm. and battle. Mm -hmm. All right. God did not want us looking like a, 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 a beast, mm -mm. a four-footed animal, mm -hmm. a, a tree, mm -hmm. a moon or sun, a star. He created us after <laughs> his likeness. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. And ever since then, when man fell, Satan was trying to destroy that image. Mm -hmm. Did you hear what I said? Yeah. Now, Jesus, go to the first chapter of Hebrews. Mm -hmm. Pray for me, I stay focused. All right. Babylon for people that are free. Amen. You can listen to me right now, Babylon, to know that the Lord of God is upon you. Amen. You are free. Thank you. The first verse said in the first chapter God, who at sundry time and in divers manners spake in time past unto the fathers by the prophets. Second verse has in these last days spoken unto us by his son. Who has appointed heir of all things, mm -hmm. by whom also the Son he made the words. Watch this, who being the brightness of his glory, an express image of his person. Mm -hmm. This Son is the brightness of God's glory, an express image of his person. Mm -hmm. So Jesus Yeshua mm -hmm. looked like the Father. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. On the Mount of Transfiguration, as recorded. I think in the ninth chapter of the book of Mark, when Moses and Elijah appeared with Jesus, the Bible said Jesus' raiment was transfigured, where it shined brighter than any bleach or full of soap and white. He was clothed in the light. Thank you. That was the original clothing that Adam had. Mm -hmm. It protected him. Thank you, Lord. Did y'all hear me? It shielded him. Mm. But when Adam sinned, the light dissipated. Mm. When Moses went up on the mount and spent 40 days with, the, with God, and God wrote in the tablet the, the Ten Commandments, when Moses came down off the mountain, his face shone mm -hmm. so bright yeah. that he had to put a veil over because Israel was afraid of him. So whenever he went in and came out from God, he put a veil on until I guess the light dissipated. Are y'all listening? No, so when, when he came out, he put a veil on. So he went into God without the veil and came out with the veil on. So he would, so people would become afraid of his face. Y'all listen. So Moses at that point had a glory resting on him. You go to the last chapter of Deuteronomy, you're not going to tell you about it. 
And you find out when God told Moses to come up to the mountain and die. Moses was the only man in the Bible God had to tell to die. Are y'all here? Mm -hmm. Moses had spent so much time, he was so close to God, and the presence of God had saturated him so that death could not touch him. Mm -hmm. Romans 8 2 says, For the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus have made us free Thank from you. the law of sin and what? Death. Yeah. Yeah. So Moses was so covered in his glory under the old covenant. Lord. But had no glory compared to the new covenant. <laughs> That death couldn't even touch him. He had to be told to die. Mm -hmm. Jesus. Amen. Mm -hmm. Come up into the mountain, I tell you, and die. <laughs> mm -hmm. Because that anointing was so powerful, so great. There's another prophet in the Bible, the second king, it talks about Elisha. When he died, was was buried. And some soldiers were coming back from battle, and one of their fellow soldiers had gotten killed. So they just dropped him over into the pit where Elijah's bones were. Mm -hmm. His bones. When this heathen soldier touched Elijah's bones, the presence of God was so saturated in Elijah's bones mm -hmm. that he jumped up and came back to life. Lord. No prayer made. Mm -hmm. The anointing. Somebody say the anointing. Mm -hmm. So it is evident that. What we're looking at that covered Adam had to be tangible because he couldn't see his nakedness. Mm -hmm. And then when we look in the Ezekiel, the first chapter, we find out that God was covered with his life. Yeah. Then we discover that Moses also had the glory of God upon him to the point where his whole face lit up and Israel couldn't look at him and afraid. Amen. Mm -hmm. But then we find the greatest revelation is that Jesus was what? The brightness of God's glory right. and express image of his person. Right? Amen. Right? We can't get God away from Lord. I know I'm going, so it's thrilling, but you don't know yet, so we're about to get that man. So then when I read Romans 8, chapter 11, verse, it says, The spirit of him that raised Jesus from the dead Lord. be in you. He who raised Christ from the dead shall also make your body alive, or quicken your body, but it really didn't mean make alive in the modern day vernacular, by his spirit that dwells in you. So God revealed to Paul that he wants to make our bodies alive Glory to God. by the Holy Ghost. Woo. I see my soul by the cat see a fellow of old side. Randy Niki Simo Samana Nimis. Rasa Tokane Kisi Kobana Naseki Hatsa Mahase. Say, say, Mokomani Kia Nasa. Thank you, Lord. She made Kobana Nasisi. Oh, Shah Matse Kumatesi. Hallelujah. Father just said that. We're going to see many of his children rise up and walk and take their body into that light again. Thank you, Lord. And death will have no power. Hallelujah. Over. Hallelujah. <laughs> Let me be one. Yeah. <laughs> I receive in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Shabbos. Oh, Lord. Thank Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. 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 Hallelujah. 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 All the spirit of life in Christ have made you and I free from the Lord's sin and death. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. The brightness of God's glory and express image of his person. So God wants to clothe you mm. with the brightness of his glory. Mm. That you may become the express image of his person. Woo. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Mm. Let's go to 2 Corinthians. Hallelujah. Thank Third you. chapter. Hallelujah. Let me give y'all a great ball. Praise. Come on and bless me. I got to stay. I got to stay down so I can get you through here. Amen. Because the anointing is so awesome up in here. Bless you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I receive. You might say, I receive. I receive. You know, I'm going to start at that first verse. I didn't want to read the whole thing, but I'm going to start at that first verse. Do we begin again to commend ourselves, Paul said, mm. or need we as some others? It's just an accommodation to you, our letters of commendation from you. You are our epistle, written in our hearts. 
the only rid of all men. For as much as ye are manifestly declared to be the epistle of Christ, ministered by us, written not with ink, but the spirit of the living God, not in table of stone, but in fleshly table of the heart. And such trust have we through Christ to God. Not that we are sufficient of ourselves to think anything of ourselves, but our sufficiency is of God. Now, would that would be for all people. That God is their source, not the word. Not, not anybody home. Yeah. Who also has made us able ministers of the New Testament, not of the letter, but of the Spirit. For the letter killeth, but the Spirit giveth life. Did y'all see that? Mm. See, I hear so many people trying to make a distinction between preaching the word and what they got. Mm. I got the Spirit. And all they got is directions. Mm. Prophesying, but not very few come to pay. Sure. That means psychics got better accuracy than they do. Mm -hmm. And psychics don't prophesy by the Spirit of God. I'm here to oh, tell you that now. So, I don't care what anybody has told you. Either a familiar spirit, an unclean spirit, or a spirit of divination. No, they're not a servant of God. They tapped into the spirit realm through a dark spirit. Right. Amen. Amen. But yet they want you to believe that, that because they are manifesting some kind of spiritual uh, Ability that that makes them spiritual, and a person teaching and ministering the word is not spiritual. Well, that can't be true. Because St. John 6 and 63 said it. <laughs> it is the spirit that makes life. The flesh profit nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. Now, I'm not sure exactly if in the 10th chapter of Matthew, the 11th chapter, somewhere in there, Jesus said, They that hear you hear me, and they that hear me hear him that sent me. So when we Messengers of God speak the word of Christ. Mm -hmm. It as though Christ is standing there talking in his head. Amen. Thank you. Y'all hear me? Mm -hmm. That's why I behoove a man or woman of God to say this is what God says. Mm -hmm. And not add to it, take away from it. Mm -hmm. Not knocking anybody here. Mm -hmm. Amen. But yet that, you know, it gets lost in some of these people that just want to be seen. Well, they're not trying to build up people in the kingdom of God. They're trying to build a fan. What do you call them? Fan glue? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hello? They're trying to build up a fan base. Thank you, son. Thank you, brother. Yeah. They ain't trying to build up disciples for Christ. To build up the kingdom of God. They're trying to build up support for their own little thing. Amen. Amen. But let's look at this a little deeper. <coughs> right? Are you, are, you, are you with me? Thank you, Lord. So he says, I'll read that same third verse again. But as much as he are manifest, declared to be the epistle of Christ, ministered by us, written out with him, by the spirit of the living God. Not in table of stone, but in flesh the table of the heart, right? Mm -hmm. And such trust have we through Christ to God with. Not that we are sufficient of ourselves to think anything of ourselves. Mm -hmm. But our sufficiency, mm -hmm. our source, our supply come from God. Amen. Our ability Amen. come from God. Thank our knowledge come from God. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. Who also has made us able ministers of the New Testament, mm -hmm. not of the letter, but of the spirit. What are we ministering? The spirit. But the letter kill, but the spirit give us life. When people take heed to the word of God and being taught to them, they're going to receive something. Or spirit of life. Thank you. Amen. Spirit of life. Spirit of life. Are you here? Spirit of life. Somebody say spirit of life. Spirit of life. I don't think, think y'all really got that, but it should have been a holy hood if you don't get it. But it didn't happen. <laughs> Your spirit should have been humbled real, real quick right there. So if we really receive the word of God, we're going to receive a spirit of life. Right? But if the ministration of death written and engraved in stone was glory, wow. Come on the same command. So that the children of Israel could not stand fast and behold the face of Moses for the glory of his continent, for the glory was to be done away. Y'all say that? The glory was so great on Moses that they couldn't look at his face. Look at it. How shall not, what Paul said? How shall not the ministration of the Spirit be rather glorious? When I look around and I see some of the stuff that's been going on over the years, or it's been operating in people's lives, 
and how, how, how much they, to me, now maybe not so, but look like me, they were breathing the Holy Ghost. It bothers me that they miss this. Mm -hmm. To be excelled and promoted in the world mm -hmm. and not in God. Mm -hmm. Amen. Paul said if he brought no fruit on the perfection, mm -hmm. and that would grieve me. He'd be one for the wrong path. If I bring no fruit on the perfection, then my labor has been in vain. Hello. Mm -hmm. You are my testimony in the Lord. Right. People that I minister to. And if they don't walk into this, you think I'm happy? <laughs> Hello. Amen. When they want to do the old thing, you think I'm happy? <laughs> no. Because they're missing out on what God has offered to them. Thank you. But they're missing out on the spirit of life. Spirit of life. Yeah. Thank you. You ain't got nothing. So he goes on to say, y'all stay with me, mm -hmm. that this, this what we got now is more glorious than what Moses had, right? right? Mm -hmm. And he even said that what Moses had was more been done away with. Mm -hmm. Are you with me? Mm -hmm. How shall not the ministration of the Spirit be rather glorious? Mm -hmm. So when I look around, I see the, 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 the lifestyle of a lot of church folk. It grieves my heart mm -hmm. that they've been somehow blocked. Jesus talked about this the lawyers and the scribes, mm. he said they stand at the door. Yep. They got the keys. Mm. They won't go in. Mm. They want nobody else going in. Mm. Something wrong with that picture. Mm. Every father, every true father, biological father, wants his children to do better than him. Excel. To excel in him. And Jesus said, you can become as me, mm -hmm. but you'll never be greater than me. Amen. Mm -hmm. And that's the truth. Because he's the original. Thank you. Woo! Yeah, he's the original template. Yeah. The original like, pattern. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can become happy because you know that what you come out of, but you can't be great. Mm -hmm. Somebody thought it said, remember where you come from. So he said, for if the ministration of condemnation be glory. Much more, see, the law came to make sin known, to break you down so you realize you, you, you need a savior. Right. There's a teacher to bring us to Christ. Mm -hmm. Much more does the ministration of righteousness exceed in glory. So can you imagine that? God makes you do his righteousness. And what's going on in your life is greater than what's going on in your life <laughs> when you're just a church goer. Mm -hmm. If you went to church. Mm -hmm. Don't you think something wrong with that? Right. What's happening now should be far greater by itself than anything that ever happened before. Amen. It should be. Woo! Amen. I'm about to look at it right there. Woo! Amen. 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 But when you look at most people, they 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 they, they got this kind of funny look in the eye like they look at me. What the heck? Because they wasn't told that the scribes them. Them, them Pharisees, not scribes, the lawyers that blocked them from getting in to see what God has offered. Mm -hmm. Amen. In the beginning, God said, Let us make man his name, not his life. Right. Right. Am I right about it? Amen. Am I right about it? Amen. Then the Bible tells in the first chapter of the book of Hebrew, by that third verse somewhere in there, that Jesus is the brightness of the glory, right? Mm -hmm. Express him into the person, right? Mm -hmm. Am I right about it? Amen. St. John 1 and 12. Mm -hmm. But as many have received him, <laughs> that them gave him. The power to become what? The son of God. Just like him. Just like him. Love. Just like him. Just like him. Just like him. So, what's the problem? Some people this was kept from him. They were taught this. They were taught church was about going to heaven. Yeah. Oh. That's a that's a that's a benefit. That's a benefit of being a child of God. Because that's your home. Mm -hmm. That's work to be done. Amen. Amen. So you don't get to go home until your work is done. Amen. 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 But a lot of folks want to go home before the work is done. Amen. So your neighbor says, I ain't going until my work finishes. I ain't going until my work finishes. Hallelujah. Then Paul said he bought me back. Complete the call. Just be. But that means he finished his work. Amen. What happens when you don't finish your work and Jesus will come? Don't ask nobody. Don't talk about it. It's, that's a dreadful day. Amen. But we're going to focus on this now. So God wants us to look like Jesus. 
Right? Mm -hmm. Right? <clears throat> Stay with me now. Don't run off nowhere. You ready for it? <laughs> Don't run off because I know it's getting good. Mm -hmm. But then he said, for, for even that which was made glorious had no glory in this respect mm -hmm. by reason of the glory that excels. Mm -hmm. How many of y'all say shine? Mm -hmm. But if that which is done away was glorious, much more that which remaineth is glorious. Mm -hmm. Seeing then that we have such hope, we talk the great plain as a speech. And not as Moses, which put a veil on his face, that the children of Israel could not steadfastly look to the end of that which was abolished. Now watch this. But their minds were blinded. Yeah. But unto this day, remains the same veil untaken away mm. in the reading of the Old Testament, which veil is done away in Christ. Yeah. What? Done away in Christ. Whatever kept them from seeing the glory mm. has now been done away in Christ. Mm. So we can see the glory. Amen. 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 You can see the glory. You can see the glory. But even under this day, when Moses is read, the veil is upon their heart. Mm. Know what God said? Jesus said to Nicodemus. Didn't mm. answer me no. The God the teacher called him to walk. Mm. But no man can do the works that you do except God be with him. <laughs> third verse, Jesus, third chapter of St. John. Mm. Jesus said, Verily, verily, I say to you, nigga, even truly, truly, sincerely, sincerely, I say to you, that except you be born again, you can't recognize, you don't know what coming from God. Right. Except you be born again, you cannot see the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Even nigga, even with a group, he was a teacher of the, yeah. of the Jews. Right. Right. But he was, Jesus was surprised that he didn't understand what he was talking about. When he talked about that was born in the spirit, the spirit that was born in the flesh and flesh. Mm -hmm. Nigga, couldn't get it. He said, he said, can I, you know, go back in my mouth? Second time. And I crawled back up in that dummy the second time. Oh All they were thinking about was flesh. How many people in the church were? When they preaching, when they teaching, everything is about material things in this world. Mm -hmm. I'm from heaven. Wow. I speak of heavenly things. Mm -hmm. True men and women of God speak of heavenly things. That's right. People of the earth, they, they speak of the earth called they earthly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's right. Amen. So I, if Jesus even made a statement that why you don't understand my speech because my word has no place in you. <laughs> so I know I probably people can't understand my speech. Mm -hmm. Amen. Prayer chicken, people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Somebody missed that one. Prayer mm -hmm. chicken, eagle. Prayer mm -hmm. chicken, try to fly. Mm -hmm. An eagle fly. Mm -hmm. Is it in nature to be able to fly? Yeah. Yeah. It's not in the nature of a prayer chicken to fly. They can put through the front one. They can flop around for a little while and kick off a little bit and walk right back to the ground. Yeah. But that eagle. Yeah. 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 Woo! So I watch it. Nevertheless, when it shall turn to the Lord, the veil shall be taken away. That's what happened at the born again experience. Mm -hmm. When you turn to Jesus, the veil is taken from your understanding. Mm -hmm. Now the Lord is that spirit. And what is it? And where the spirit of the Lord is, there is what? Yeah. Liberty. If you thought that liberty was a run down the aisle and stand yeah. down and roll all over the floor, mm -hmm. there's a long day for I do it at any time. You, you don't need the Holy Ghost to shout. No. You don't need the Holy Ghost to praise the Lord. Liberty. You don't need the Holy Ghost to dance. Mm -hmm. If you want to roll, you don't need the Holy Ghost to roll. Mm -hmm. Why did Jesus say the Holy Spirit come? That we might be witnesses yes. of him. Mm -hmm. That's why he came, that we might be witnesses. Wow. Of him. The power of to be witnesses of him. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. So you got a lot of people think they got the Holy Ghost because they, they buffing. Mm -hmm. yep. They roll. Mm -hmm. I'm for real. Yeah. They get goosebumps. Mm -hmm. The Lord is that spirit when the spirit of the Lord is there is liberty. If them goosebumps don't make you free from your sin, I question whether that was the spirit uh, of God. Amen. Because amen. Amen. So the spirit of God, the nothing removes the burden. And destroy the yoke. And Jesus said, If I, by the Spirit of God, cast out demons, how should your children cast them out? Mm -hmm. By the Spirit of God. That's how. So the Spirit of God drives devils out. They don't come for them. Thank you, God. Somebody got the devil in them, they don't feel comfortable around a person that got the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. Lord! Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise you. That was explosive. Mm -hmm. Woo! No, oh, a thousand times no. God is light and the devil is darkness. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. 
Now watch it, watch it, watch it. I'm going somewhere. Everybody got lost. Then stay, stay with me. Don't be lost. Stay with me. I was taking you somewhere. I was talking about the glory. Remember Adam? So the light from it blowing down, the light from it blowing up. But he's seen he lost the glory. That's what he lost. God is a fire from it blowing down, fire from it blowing up. He created man living out his light. So what color Adam? Fire. The glory. Now watch it, watch it, watch it. But we all, talking about the body of Christ, with open face, beholding as in a glass, what? What? What do we see in the glass? The glory of the Lord. What do we see? The glory of the Lord. What do we see? The glory. The glory. Thank you. The glory. Woo! Thank you. Yeah, my. Ha. Hey. Woo! The glory. Thank you, Lord. Then he said, what did he say? Our chain. Somebody say our chain. Our chain. Change. Transform. As we behold the glory. As looking at a glass, Hallelujah. we are changed. Oh, as we we are changed. Well, how you gonna behold the glory if you don't look in the glass? Thank you. But what is the glass? When, he, when, when Ooh, James referred God. to it, he said, "When a man looks in the person law of living, they forget what man a man he is." Amen. Hello. Glory to God. So he was resting like a man looking in the mirror. Mm. And turn around and forget what man of person they were. Thank you. Talking about the same thing. So the word of God is like a mirror. Hallelujah. When you look into the word of God, or when a man or woman is ministering the word of God, you should be able to see where you are. Right. Yeah, yeah, Thank yeah. you. Yeah, you got where you are. Speak the Holy Ghost speak. So when you see where you are, then if you're broken, if you're not right with God and humble yourself, then the glory comes on you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And when the glory comes on you, what do it do? Changes you into that very image of Christ. Woo! Hello, somebody. Hello, somebody. Mm -hmm. We are changed to the same image from glory to glory, even as by the Spirit of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. God wants to restore you to the original pattern and template. Mm -hmm. That's why Jesus came. Lord. God created man in his image and out of his likeness. Adam lost it. Yep. Mm -hmm. Woo! Woo! But you're yeah. sure. Jesus of Nazareth right. restored it. Hallelujah. Woo! Hey! Let me give God another one. Come on, bless it, bless it, bless it, bless it. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Mm. Woo! Woo! Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. I often, God said, I called you to be out of the moment for you to get up and spend time with me. Mm. But you chose not to. It was that time that I'm going to change. And remove things from you that have been hindering you from walking in the light of who you are in me. Yes. But you want to stay in the bed. You felt like you was too mm. tired to get up and spend just a little time mm -hmm. with me. Remember when I said to Peter, Can you go watch me one hour? And what happened to Peter when he slept? Mm. He should have been watching. Take heed, my son, and my daughter. Don't let what has been written slip and you fall into the same condemnation. I've called you away from the world. I've separated you under myself. It's my desire that you become my reflection in this earth. So don't allow the enemy to make you think there's something more important than spending time with me. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory! Amen. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh. Mm. I say, the Lord said, how will you be ready for what is coming? How will you walk in the greatness that I've been telling you about if you do not spend time with me? You. you will not be able to walk in it until you spend time with me. And I will teach you and I will show you and I will enable you. And the world will see that you are my son, you are my daughter. Yes. But my glory will rise upon you. you. And the many that are unsaved will come to you and want to know what it is. And you can tell them, Jesus is my Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 Hey, that's coming to change, save the Lord. And when I make this change, you're going to know that I spoke to you tonight. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I shifted in a political atmosphere. Mm -hmm. Hear me say the Lord. When I make this thing, when I allow this change to happen, you're going to know how I've spoken to you. It's your time, church. It's your time, my body, to rise Amen. and take your place beside me. It's your time to shine. Yes. It's your time to speak out the Son of God. Yes. Thank, you, Thank you, Jesus. 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 I receive. Here am I, Lord. Here am I, Lord. Am I, Lord. Am I, Lord. Use, me. Use me. Use me. Now, 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 now. I'm going to allow you to finish this. All right. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So, when the Spirit of God begins to change you and transform you, and then he see, you all know what Jesus has got to see. Y'all read what Jesus got sick? Y'all read where he broke the bone? No. So the only time he was afflicted was when? On the cross. On the cross, when men afflicted him. Mm -hmm. That's God's perfect will for you. Mm -hmm. That you never be afflicted or sick or wounded mm -hmm. or broken. Mm -hmm. Nothing missing, nothing lacking, nothing out of place. Mm -hmm. That's his perfect will for you. And as you spend time beholding him and looking in the glass, he's going to change you to that very end. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. But everything will line back up. Mm. The glory of God will come upon you. Thank you, Lord. And make your body alive. Yes. And restore your joints, restore your heart, restore your lungs. Go restore Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Your hearing. Go restore your sight. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Oh, you know, some people say, I have not seen you, I have not heard. Yeah, yeah my has seen you. My eyes have seen you. Like they're very good. Thank you. How God got for you. Hey, 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 hey. 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 He wants to restore with us. Amen. We got to stay before him. Yeah. But as we behold him, what? Looking in the glass. Mm -hmm. As we see that glory, we're chained into that very end. Mm -hmm. That very end. Ooh. Glory to glory. Amen. 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 This ain't about religion. This is about a life. Lord, I thank you. And that life is Jesus of Nazareth. Mm. Yeshua. Manifested by the Holy Ghost in his children. Amen. 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 Son of God, rise up everywhere. Say that, brother. Son of God, rise up everywhere. Yeah. Can you imagine this? Mm. In the hospital. Mm. In the red zone. Mm. In the jail. Mm. In the, the mayor's office. Mm. In the governor's office, yeah. in the presidential office, mm -hmm. rise up, decree and declare mm -hmm. that those principalities and powers do not dominate here anymore. Mm -hmm. Hey, thank you. Shabbat yeah. Shalom. Thank you. Thank you. Woo! Take that big sword, angel of God. I see it now, and cut those tentacles of that octopus spirit that's trying to control mm -hmm. those leaders. Cut it now. Mm -hmm. Cut it now. Cut it now, yeah. cut it now. Seven of them, and I said it now. It's seven of them now. It's seven of them now. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Oh, hallelujah. Fire be on that. Never go along back again. Never be able to take serve the Lord again. No. We cast that principality. No. We cast that power down. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah! Thank you, Jesus. Rout demons from out of this place, out of the line of imprint and the sound of my voice. Angel of God, I usher you out now. Go forth, go forth, legion of angels, and drive those demons out of the people alive that are listening yes. to me. Yes, In the name of Jesus, yes. now the servant of the Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord of hosts, your captain, I charge you to go forth now in your sure name. Yes. God, we thank you for deliverances everywhere. Yes. Yes. We thank you for deliverance everywhere. Yes. Even being chased out of homes, out yes. of children, out of the yes. out of the yes. parents, yes. out of the hospitals, yes. out of the hospitals, out of the hospitals, out of the hospitals, out of the hospitals, Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Let us pray. Father, we're grateful and thankful for the privilege. Thank you for the Holy Ghost. Yes, Jesus. I'm his seat. His body. Where I mean, use me any way you want to. 
and my desire that you may be glorified, that you may be seen among your people. Thank you, Father, for greater. Thank you for greater. Yeah. No longer will we dream and hope so, but walking in the fullness mm. of sonship. But you said we can be filled with all the fullness of God. Mm. I thank you. I give you all the praise thank you, Lord. for the sanctifying presence of the Holy Spirit coming upon everyone at the sound of my voice, that they be set apart, consecrated to your use, filled with your sweet Holy Spirit, endued with power from on high, that they can set it living to them to the bruise, open the prison door, bring the living to the cat, sight to the blind, bind it up the broken heart. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for hearing me. Thank you for honoring me. In your precious name, Lord Jesus, I pray. And everyone said, Amen. 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 So be it. Thank each and every one for coming out tonight. Thank you, everyone that tuned in by Facebook and YouTube. Receive the word of the Lord. God has actually moved and spoken in here tonight. Take that to heart. Embrace it. The thing that God is about to do mm, 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 will shake society and the world. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. I want to be a witness. Huh? Mm -hmm. so about, do you want to be a witness? Something like that. Mm -hmm. Witness from my Lord. Mm -hmm. Witness. Witness from my Lord. I want to be a witness. Amen. I want to be a witness. Mm -hmm. All right. Amen. Everywhere I go, I want you to see the glory. Yes, there was a great revival called Charles E. Penny. Mm -hmm. He'd go to a town and preach revival, go to town and catch on fire. <laughs> Because Lord God will fall so in that town that people come from outside the town be found laid on the side of the road yeah. for crying out, what must I do to be saved? Mm -hmm. Ah, thank God for sending another move. Yeah. Yeah. This is the latter day. He said, the latter day you asked for the rain, you will send it a lot of rain. Yeah. Send the rain, Lord, send the rain. Thank you, uh, those that watching my way of faith. Book and YouTube, appreciate your offering, your giving. Amen. Don't let the devil rob your blessing. Amen. God told you this whole season of ministry. Do it. Get it out your hand. Plant the seed. But we're doing what God said do. This is truly an end time ministry. Yeah. We have been on track for yeah. years. Amen. And when I say for years, I mean decades. Mm -hmm. Our folk just finally waking up and start telling it. But we've been telling it. And this thing is unfolding all in front of us. Yeah. So it's time to get on the Lord's side. Amen. And stay on his side. God bless you. If you like to send it in, you can by we'll cash out the dollar sign LB3921, or you can send it in uh, by way of mail, PO Box 769, Dillon, South Carolina, 29536, through check or money order. Or you can use PayPal.lovedeliveryministry, and we should get it that way too. Amen. God bless you. Heaven smile on you. Appreciate you. See you again, Lord willing, have this Sunday. Amen. Amen.